Good day, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Chavez's Art Show. In today's episode, we, here in the U.S., we are celebrating the month of February as Black History Month. So, in honor of Black History Month, we are going to make traffic stoplights. Now you're probably wondering why, Mr. Chavez, how is traffic stoplights related to Black History Month? Well, in today's episode, I will show you how and also how to make your very own traffic stoplight. So follow along and let's have fun. So for our Black History Month art project, we are going to make traffic stoplights. Now what's so special about traffic stoplights is these are what drivers use to help be safe, be respectful, and be responsible on the road. They tell us when to stop and when it's okay to drive safely. Now, here's an example of a, tra stop, a traffic stoplight. We have our green light that, tell us, that tells us to, that it's okay to go and drive. And we have our yellow light that tells us when it's time to slow down, to slow down because we're about to stop in just a moment. And then our red light means stop, don't drive any further. So that's what our traffic stop lights are for. Again, they are help, but they help drivers to be safe on the road. Now, traffic stop lights have been around for a very, very long time. They uh, usually they tell us when it's when you're, you're supposed to stop and when you're supposed to go. Um, it wasn't until Mr. Garrett Morgan, who invent, who helped invent the traffic stoplight to include the yellow light to let drivers, to let them know to slow down. Mr. Garrett Morgan knew that he saw a lot of people not being safe and having a lot of accidents because they don't know when to slow down. So it wasn't until his contribution to the uh, to the United States that he made it possible that every traffic stop light has three lights. Stop, slow down, and go. So to honor his contributions we're, uh, of Mr. Garrett Morgan, we're going to make our very own traffic stoplight. Follow along and I will show you how. So this is what we're going to be using for today. We have glue, scissors, and different colored construction paper. For the colors we're going to use, we're going to use black green, yellow, and red. And that's really it for, to, uh, for today. So let's get started. Our first step is prepping our construction paper for the project. For our black construction paper, we're just gonna fold it in half and cut in the middle to make a long black rectangle. And as for our colors green, yellow, and red, we make small squares. Next, we take our squares and cut circles out of the squares. These are going to be the lights in our traffic stoplight. After we cut our circles out, we glue our circles onto the black rectangle starting with the green one on the bottom, the yellow one on in the middle, and the red one on top. At this point, 
you are pretty much done with the project. However, if you want to go the extra mile and be very creative, you can do so. You can color it, write it, put paint on it. Right now, Mr. Chavez is putting glitter onto his traffic lights so it can be nice and shiny and sparkly. Now here is my finished product, my traffic stoplight. I have my green one, which means go. I have my yellow one, which means to slow down. And then I have my red one that means stop, stop. <laughs> and it's nice and glittery and shiny just so that everyone can see where the lights are at. <laughs> well, I hope you have fun today making our stop lights for Black History Month and remember to say thank you for Mr. Garrett Morgan and his brilliant invention and I just want to say thank you for joining me today in Mr. Chavez's art show. Have a wonderful day everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye!